My name is Pam O'Neill, and my derby name is actually Thigh Candy. I play for the Bean Heartland Roller Girls out of Bloomington, Indiana. Um, we practice three hours a night, three nights a week, basically us scrimmaging, um, which is a more in-depth game-like practice. Um, our practices usually consist of a lot of sprints, um, a lot of working out, a lot of push-ups, a lot of sets, a lot of squats, um, and also working on very specific skating skills. And then for our third hour of practice, it's all strategy. So we get to work on um, gameplay and new plays and kind of dissect what everyone else is doing and make it better. Um, it takes us about 10 to 15 minutes to get all of our gear on in the um, start of practice. So when practice starts at 7, you have to definitely get there early. Um, if you don't and you're not on the track by 7, we do uncomfortable crawls. We wear um, our own skates. We all own our own quad skates. Uh, we don't do any kind of um, inline skating. Um, they're all, they all have to be quads. Uh, we wear knee pads. We wear elbow pads. We wear helmets. We wear wrist guards. Uh, we also have to wear mouth guards. Um, and some of the pictures are going to see me wearing a giant orange brace. Um, that is not required. I have actually tore my ACL playing um, roller derby, and rather than having the surgery, um, I went ahead and, and got the, the Don Joy brace, and so now I kind of stand out a little bit during practices and scrimmages because I always have this um, huge orange brace on. Some of the pictures that you're going to be seeing of us um, scrimmaging are just basically some pack work. Um, I'm a blocker, so I work in the pack, and that basically means that I hit people hard. Um, if, if I'm not hitting them, I, I basically am booty blocking them, which is where I would um, essentially put my butt into, like, their thighs so they can't skate, which seems ineffective, but it's actually the most effective way to block in derby. Um, the teams consist of five, uh, four blockers on each team and plus one jammer. The jammer is, is usually the fastest person on the team. In this particular scrimmage, this was actually a scrimmage of girls that have only played for about a year. I mean, a year seems like a long time to play a sport, but for derby it really isn't. You really need to be in it two or three years before you get to the skill level that our league is at currently. So um, needless to say, I'm, I am one of the faster girls in this group of girls, and so they put the jammer panty on me, and the jammer's job is just to get through all those blockers. And as you can see, um, I am kind of getting my butt kicked there by number 50, she is, uh, that's a booty block, that's a, a good solid booty block. She has her butt on my thigh, so I'm having a hard time getting around her. So as you can see, we're on the bench and kind of just having a good time and laughing, and, and I, I love um, the competition, but in the, at this level of competition with these scrimmages that, that they do once a month, they're very low-key. They're really about having a lot of fun and just going out there and learning the game and, um, you know, figuring out what you need to work on for the, the following practice and figuring out um, new strategies. The, the last picture here pretty much sums it up. I love roller derby.